Elon Musk expressed interest in investing in India in response to a post indicating that significant investment and a relationship with India are likely in the future. Although he avoided making any official announcements, Musk hinted at the possibility during a conversation. He emphasized that he has always been open to the idea and that the meeting with the prime minister was excellent. Regarding the timeline for SpaceX's presence in India, Musk mentioned that it's premature to provide specific details at this time. However, he expressed enthusiasm about the prospect and suggested that it could potentially happen next year. Musk thanked the audience and concluded the conversation. In the world of Tesla, where innovation knows no bounds, a storm is brewing, secrets, revelations, challenges, and triumphs converge in today's electrifying episode of Tesla Hype. What lies behind the curtain of Elon Musk's compensation package? Will Tesla conquer the vast Indian market with a whirlwind of investments? And what remarkable surprises does the Cybertruck have in store for us? Buckle up, because we're diving deep into the heart of Tesla's world, where every move, every decision could reshape the automotive landscape. In response to a post, Elon Musk expressed his interest, indicating that there's a way for individuals to influence Tesla's future. A comment suggested that Elon needs to show more engagement at Tesla, considering his current compensation package. This sparked a discussion on Elon Musk's compensation history, emphasizing that he's not bound to the company as an indentured servant and highlighting the absence of a current incentive plan, which differs from what other Tesla CEOs would receive. The discussion pointed out that providing Elon with significant goals, such as elevating Tesla's market cap to unprecedented levels, could be a motivating factor. It was suggested that goals similar to those in the previous compensation package, albeit with higher thresholds, would be appropriate. While Elon does hold substantial Tesla shares, some argue that mere ownership is insufficient motivation. Drawing a parallel to Bill Gates' philanthropic efforts, the consensus was that Elon Musk has earned the right to explore further endeavors with more capital, which could ultimately benefit Tesla. Increasing his attention to the company would likely benefit Tesla stock investors in the long term. The question arose about whether the board was considering a new compensation package for Elon, but no official information was available to take action. Viewers were encouraged to engage with Tesla board members through various channels. There was a shared sentiment that Elon Musk should receive a new incentive package from Tesla, given the significant time that had passed since the previous one was announced. It was highlighted that the earlier incentive plan was linked to market cap and operational milestones, which Tesla had substantially achieved. The suggestion was made that a new incentive plan, possibly tied to ambitious market cap milestones, should be considered reflecting Elon's belief in Tesla's potential for exponential growth. In a potential compensation package, it is envisioned that Tesla's market cap could soar past $4 trillion. Viewers might find it. Intriguing to consider including a milestone of $4 trillion in such a package. An alternative approach could involve setting milestones in increments of $1 trillion for Tesla's market cap. Considering various aspects such as Optimus robot taxes, Tesla's energy endeavors, and other significant projects, these factors could contribute to substantial revenue and earnings growth. The proposed compensation package aims for complete performance-based incentives devoid of any guaranteed. Compensation elements, this would entail no fixed salary, cash bonuses, or equity vesting. Solely based on time passing, Elon Musk would receive compensation only when Tesla and its shareholders thrive collectively. While there may be differing opinions about providing Elon with a new incentive package, it's essential to note that. Most of his wealth is tied up in the stocks of his own companies, and he isn't known for extravagant spending on luxuries like yachts or mansions. Consequently, offering him a new compensation package doesn't appear to carry significant downsides for investors. Now let's pivot our focus to an exhilarating chapter in Tesla's global expansion saga. Brace yourselves as we unveil a seismic development Tesla's highly anticipated entry into the vibrant Indian market. This is no ordinary stride, it's a colossal leap that could redefine the contours of the automotive industry. According to the grapevine, Tesla is currently immersed in advanced discussions primed to unleash investments of. Heard that write $30 billion of financial commitment that underscores the enormity of Tesla's ambitions on the Indian subcontinent. As the plot thickens, let's break down this colossal investment. Picture this an immediate infusion of $3 billion into an Indian manufacturing plant dedicated to crafting a brand new compact Tesla model tailored for emerging markets. This strategic move not only demonstrates Tesla's adaptability, but also its commitment to catering to diverse global demands. But there's more a whopping $10 billion commitment from partners has been earmarked to fortify this manufacturing venture. This collaborative effort amplifies the scale and impact of Tesla's foray into India as multiple stakeholders rally behind the electric revolution. 
Now let's delve into the electrifying future of Indian mobility. Tesla's blueprint includes a cumulative $15 billion investment over the next five years in the battery industry ecosystem. This visionary investment aims to establish a robust battery infrastructure that can power not only Tesla vehicles, but potentially electrify the entire nation. Tesla's initial strategy for India is akin to a well-choreographed symphony. It involves the gradual introduction of a select few models to the Indian luxury market, strategically timed to captivate the discerning Indian clientele. Simultaneously, the company is orchestrating the development and meticulous testing of cutting-edge charging infrastructure, laying the foundation for a seamless electric driving experience, and that's not all. There's a grand finale to this Tesla performance in India, the establishment of a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility within a mere two years. Tesla aims to roll out its first small car tailored for Indian roads within two years with the facility's full completion slated for three years. This revelation hints at the exciting prospect of this new Tesla vehicle gracing Indian streets in just five short years. Regarding Tesla's factory in India, it's mentioned in a somewhat convoluted manner. However, it appears that parts of the facility will be completed within the first two years, enabling car production to commence, and the full facility will be ready within three years. The factory, with a significant degree of local content, is expected to cater partially to the Indian market and focus substantially on exports. When contemplating Tesla's potential for stock growth, viewers might ponder why Tesla has relatively low institutional ownership compared to other tech giants. For instance, Microsoft, Google, and Meta have substantially higher institutional ownership percentages than Tesla. One might speculate on the reasons behind this phenomenon. Some of the factors suggested by Gary Black include concerns about key man risk, headline risk, valuation risk, and capital reinvestment risk. Moreover, as we delve deeper into Gary Black's insights, we uncover a thought-provoking perspective on the consolidation of Elon Musk's vast array of ventures under the Tesla corporate umbrella. This audacious move, which could potentially include Tesla, SpaceX, The Boring Company, and Neuralink, is not without its consequences and controversies. Gary Black raises an intriguing point, the skepticism that institutional. Investors often harbor towards conglomerates. Historically, conglomerates have been viewed with caution as their diverse portfolios can make it challenging for investors to fully grasp and assess the individual businesses within the conglomerate. This lack of clarity can lead to concerns about effective management and capital allocation, which might, in turn, cast a shadow over the valuation of the conglomerate. In Tesla's case, this consolidation could potentially result in institutions reevaluating the company and assigning it a lower multiple, a move that could send ripples through the stock market. A lower multiple could lead to a decline in Tesla's stock price, impacting not only shareholders, but also the broader perception of the companies long-term prospects. However, it's essential to keep in mind that Tesla is not venturing into this potential consolidation empty-handed. The company boasts a significant cash reserve, and according to Gary's estimates, this war chest is projected to swell to a staggering $100 billion by 2028. This substantial financial cushion provides Tesla with ample resources to navigate such a transition and strategically allocate capital across its diverse ventures. Let's address Tesla's Bitcoin holdings, currently valued at a modest $184 million, which translates to just five cents per share. This essentially renders it an inconsequential factor in the grand scheme of things. Now, in terms of Elon Musk potentially consolidating all his companies under Tesla's corporate umbrella, that notion may not hold much water. It's more likely that he's in the process of establishing a separate holding company, which would oversee multiple entities. This approach seems practical since Elon would wield significant control over the holding company compared to Tesla. Thus, fears of such a conglomerate causing concern among institutions may not be a genuine worry. However, there could be some apprehensions regarding excessive collaboration between SpaceX and Tesla, though it's debatable whether such concerns are well-founded. When Elon assumed leadership at SpaceX, there were instances of Tesla employees assisting in the initial transition. Switching gears, let's delve into some recent developments. It appears that more Cybertruck founder series all-wheel drive buyers are receiving delivery dates and additional events are being dispatched. Notably, the Cybertruck boasts a 9% superior turning radius compared to an F-150. While this may not sound like a significant margin, it can be quite palpable in practical scenarios. For instance, Navigating through spaces becomes notably easier with a smaller turning circle. Elon Musk has hinted at further enhancements in the works to substantially reduce the turning radius. 
While these improvements may not be delivered via a simple software update, it's anticipated that they will expand the rear wheel's turning range from the current 3-deg to a full 10-deg. This bodes well for the Cybertruck's maneuverability. Furthermore, intriguing details are emerging about the Cybertruck, including built-in front-facing ambient lights, a seemingly minor yet useful feature. In another development, there's a rumor circulating that Cybertrucks may soon make their way to Chinese stores for display. However, Elon Musk has noted that getting the Cybertruck road legal in China poses significant challenges, although prototypes could be shipped for showcasing. Shifting gears once more, experts have chimed in on Elon Musk's compensation package. They have criticized Tesla's board of directors for their apparent inability or unwillingness to curtail Elon's politically charged tweets, which have arguably tarnished Tesla's image and harmed shareholders. They contend that if Elon continues as CEO, a proper incentive plan should be in place to both protect and benefit shareholders. The board's current approach seems to lack the capacity to provide adequate negative or positive incentives. This raises questions about the board's actions in this regard. On a different note, there's talk about the potential release of FSD beta in Europe with a realistic timeline possibly pointing to June of this year or failing that early next year. In a thought-provoking statement, it... S asserted that vision represents the most underinvested yet high potential field of AI. Language falls short of approximating the complexity of the universe. This perspective suggests that Tesla's full self-driving technology is well positioned to capitalize on this untapped potential. To sum it all up, today's discussion covered a wide range of topics from Elon Musk's potential compensation package to Tesla's foray into the Indian market, and even insights into the impressive capabilities of the Cybertruck. We explored the idea of setting ambitious market cap milestones for Elon and delved into the potential benefits and challenges of consolidating his companies. Additionally, we touched on the exciting possibility of FSD beta coming to Europe and the vast potential of AI vision. What are your thoughts on Elon Musk's compensation package and the idea of setting market cap milestones? Do you believe Tesla's entry into the Indian market will be a game changer? Are you excited about the continuous? Improvements in Tesla's vehicles, like the Cybertruck's enhanced turning radius? Feel free to share your opinions and questions in the comments section below. If you found this content informative and engaging, please consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to Tesla Hype. For more updates and discussions on all things Tesla, thanks for joining us today and we look forward to having you back in our next video.